Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing another vlog-like video. We'll be opening this new box from the Quash subscription and I will be showing you a little bit also what happened in the studio because I changed how I organize my stuff. So I'm going to show you a little bit of this and show you how it is around the studio now. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. I love just the box, I just can't throw them away. I still have the one from the first month. So this is the print. This is what we're going to try to do. And we have two new brushes. So a very long and thin brush. That would be fun to try to use. So a huge flat brush, it's the bigger flat brush I have. Before that, the biggest I've had <laughs> was this one, just to give a comparison. And then we have our colors here. So we have Moss Green, Viridian and Canyon Yellow this month. Come here, my little ones. Yay! Beautiful color. So let me give you just a view of the studio. It's slowly changing, so I'm gonna have new shelves here that are supposed to arrive tomorrow, so that I can also store some stuff inside this uh, kind of greenhouse that I have here. And I will also be putting a shelf next to my easel. So that I can just put my water, but because for now it's there and it's very low compared to this place. I know this is not gin that I have next to me, it's, it's a candle, it's, it's not a candle, it's um, there are some lights inside. So yeah, I'm not an alcoholic. And before I did not really use this space because it was mostly, it's very hot in the summer and it's very cold in the winter. And so I didn't use it that much, but I'm trying more and more to, to learn how to use it and to start to really enjoy being here. And here you can see it's very dirty because I don't know how to clean these windows there, but behind them are the heels. So this is the view out of the window and you see flowers are blooming. And it's the nice little city and there in the background has some hills and it's like 15 minutes from our house by foot and you can just walk in the in the hills and we have vineyards there so it's super nice and my camera don't take it so well but the sky is really beautiful right now so yeah and here i, I have lots of cardboards and actually it's for if one day I start to send some of my art, I have some stuff to protect it here. And I also have some cardboards for doing the, the cover of my sketchbooks when I'm doing my own sketchbooks. And I have some to put behind when I'm working and I don't want to stain the tables or I want to, to scotch to tape things to the table, so yeah. So this is a small tour of the studio and then inside I have my other workstation here where I have all of my, most of my supplies in this little thing here that I've already shown in other videos. And then here I have the printing and scanning station. 
and I have some paper stuff and books about arts that are there and then on this thing here I have more uh, framing and cutting and um, recharges for some pens and stuff that are here. So that's basically all of my all of my art and those are the sketchbooks and last box was there. So yeah, this is my little mess. Welcome back to the studio. So I was editing the video, the vlog video, and I realized that when I went plein air, I used my GoPro and was the first time I was filming my, with my GoPro outside for plein air painting. And it didn't record anything of my painting process. So I'm just gonna show you what I've actually painted when I was outside. So I just did this small view of the street here with one of my new uh, pen. It's a Tombow um, flexible nib pen, so it's a really nice one. I will put the name in the video somehow. Um, so I did this with water with a pen colored pencils too. And yeah, so I'm still trying to learn how to record when I'm going plein air. I did a new try because I'm just coming back from holidays and I did a new try during the holidays so I hope it will be better. Hopefully you will see that in one of my new videos. Um, and yeah, to round up this video, I'm just gonna show you two things that I've already shown a little bit in the video. So for the studio tour, regarding the studio tour, as you can see, I finally received the little shelves here so it's super convenient to have my water there and I have everything at hand. I have my wet, stay wet palette and I've been doing a lot of um, acrylic painting now so it's really nice and one, in one of my future videos I will show you um, the process of acrylic painting in this easel so you will see a little bit better how I'm using it and also next Next to me, I now have this shelf here. So we have all of our plants here and I have also some of my some of my supplies just next to the table. So that's pretty convenient. And just to finish the video, I'm going to show you what I did with the Sarah Burns with the last craft demo box. So here are all the swatches that I did of the new of the new colors. So you see the cadmium yellow, the moss green and the viridian and all the colors you can get from there. I really love doing these swatches and I, I, I love the little um, the snake shape that I give them. So every time I'm changing the color I'm adding, I'm moving in another direction. So for instance, if I take um, here it's Viridian, then I'm adding some some red, then I'm adding some white when I'm going down, then I'm adding some more Viridian when I'm going right. So it helps me to understand how I've achieved one or the other color. And yesterday I just did the tutorial, the other part of the tutorial. So this is my little concept sketch and some color sketches. I really love the first one that I did while following the tutorial, but then I wanted to fill the page so I tried some other ones. Here I put a little more red to see the tone it gave to the overall painting 
and here I try to be more watery and I really like the sky here and then this is how the final one looks like I really loved this box I was a bit um, unsure when I first saw the painting we were going to paint because I'm not so fond of painting fields so I thought it would be a little bit boring but I actually learned so much techniques to render the grass and to work with the different greens and the yellows and yeah I just loved it and I love this was made with the um, very thin brush it was made with the with the Riga brush and Riga brush is very becoming one of my favorites you can see all the very thin lines you can create and it just adds so much dynamic to the to the whole piece I love it so yeah and as you can see it's it's almost the last page of my sketchbook so you can expect soon to have a sketchbook tour and I will probably do some nice thing here recording it uh, maybe doing a full video on that I will see but yeah this is the end of this little vlog I hope you enjoyed seeing the studio and seeing my first attempt at, at plein air and all that went around the, the last box from Sour Birds and I'm gonna see you soon in my next video bye